Okay, okay. Is he here? No, he left. Hmm. That's fierce here. Okay, all that. Mm, oh, it's dry. Oh, maybe that's muck. Surface map updated. Although it should be purplish sky map. Okay, hang on, let me check the map. And there's also where is that? Ah in Yakala. Looks like B. Uh, is that muck? Rally spawn. I came close to rally spawn. It looks normal. Maybe it's just supposed to indicate tainted water. Yep, it looks like P. It's a water park after all, so. Uh, I guess this is the temple. It looks temple ish. Oh. A whale. Oh, but I'm curious about this thing here. Oh, um. Uh. No, let's. That's higher. Oh, good. I didn't check any of those yet. Oh, I was kind of close one in Kakariko. That looks suspiciously corruption. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not going down there. Oh, like how I'm going there. Okay, that thing is higher. I need to go to the tower again. Oh, okay, let's check here first. A flying device. Have and I found one with quite a similar name. Oh, there's one flying there already. Oh. Didn't notice it there. Mm. Okay. Grab it. Raise it. Wait. Lower it. Release. Now. Uh. Actually. That's great. That's great. That's what I wanted. But. Shouldn't it turn reverse? Come on, Link. You're right there. No, that's right at the limit. 
It's not really helping me. Do I have a free shield? Because I didn't waste one of those yet. Uh, what's the name? Car shield. Great. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. Now up, up, up. It's not going up. I think it's the position of the pen over here. Ah. Oh. Yeah. No. Come on! Okay, I don't think this will work. I thought I could use this ramp to get over there. But now I can point it up, upwards. Oh! Come on, you got a fan. Go up! Why don't you go up? You got a fan! You got a propulsion! Oh, I don't have Tully here. Yeah, I'm not climbing that. Oh, hang on. Maybe I should find a way to bring that fan over here. Because this doesn't feel high enough. Place it here. And now rewind that. Don't release it. Okay, good. It did it. Maybe I should have got in the car as well. Yeah. Okay. Now we can move there. This won't be enough. Okay, that worked. That was probably an easier way. Only the chest? Yeah. Oh, there's a laning zone over there. <laughs> Perfect. No, no, no.
Okay, nothing new. Oh, but some BM meters. I didn't pay attention. This was already on when I got here. Was it spending my battery once I got here? Uh, where's the exit? Uh, hang on. Where am I going once I get out of here? Yeah, I built that, but I actually want to drop back here. Yeah, this wasn't really useful. Didn't, I never saw one like that. Cool. Go. This is for saving me. Steamed tomatoes. Tomato cooked while wrapped in a leaf. The heat brings out its medicinal effect. Oh. I'm still chasing down the mystery of those geoglyphs that appear after the upheaval. Oh, so it's you. I've seen the geoglyph here, but I, uh, I, now I have to decide whether to look for others and to delve into the dragon mystery. Oh. You heard about this? Some folks say there are. These legendary creatures called dragons, right here in Hyrule. Lots of people claim to have seen one, and I know they exist because when I was a girl, I saw one too. Mm. Though my memory of it is pretty hazy, it must have been so awestruck by its majesty. I think most rumors have in common is that dragons are seen flying through the sky, so I should, should search from <laughs> high ground. Any of that catch your interest, then you should keep an eye on it this guy too. Well, that's all for today. See you around, hope. <laughs> uh, I overheard some great info, Miskos Treasure. Eh? And looks like you overheard me. Perfect, this is so juicy. I've gotta share. You heard of Miskos Treasure, the famous bandit's huge clothing collection. The story goes that Misko hid in caves all throughout the land. Just the thought gets my fashion loving heart pounding. Ah. I heard the story of a pair of treasure hunting brothers I met near Foothill's table. Ah, uh, there. What was. Ah, the next table is Foothill, okay. If you want to know more, why not go talk to them? Foothill's table is north of here. Okay. Ah. We meet again, hello fellow traveler, as Zero hunt for jugglers continue, mm. those giant illustrations boggle the mind, who drilled them, when, and perhaps above all, how? I heard tell of a geoglyph in this area, but it refused to show itself. Ah. Not for the first time, I'm wishing I had wings like a bird. Then I could scout 
it out from the sky. Yeah, I don't have a horse right now. Let's see. Will I help you? It's not that far. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Stay there. Oh, <laughs> I knew it felt, <laughs> really felt for it, okay. Did you really think someone would just leave such premier bananas just laying around? Prepare self-link. Okay, that was nice. Again, 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 I wonder how many times we've met in our past lives. <laughs> and then, tip to buy, what do you got? Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. I still need milk for that. Uh, I don't remember what food it was. For the old woman, Kakariko. There's a cork puzzle here now. No, it isn't like that. One, two, oh god. Huh. From now on, we of the survey team must pursue ex excellence on two fronts at once. Mind and body. Hmm? Princess Zelda, in all her brilliance, has given us our marching orders. We must live up to her expectations. Princess Zelda's orders. Phil, <sighs> good morning, traveler. You have an interest in the brilliant guidance of Princess Zelda, too. Uh, the order she gave to the survey team was this, word for word. Oh. We will only find our future if we charge a new course, leaving the safety of 
indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in endpoints. <laughs> Uh, and Traveler, I will tell you, when Princess Zelda gave our team those marching orders, we marched. Uh, so that's why we're here, serving monsters in our underpants. Oh. Why not join our efforts here? Our serving team has never felt more adventurous than in our underpants. Very well. Do you say anything if I join you? Uh, for no one, certain things in my body. Mm, you don't care? Ah. Oh, hang on. I didn't pay attention to the last one. Was it the same? Oh. Take your princess on her heart, push her brains and brawl to the limit, and your investigation will exceed expectations. Hang on. Uh, uh. Oh, okay, it's pretty common links under paints. Not like exactly like theirs, but quite common. I think it's different from the first game. Uh, you a new member of the research team too, buddy. Me too. Look what we've got ourselves into. Hardly dressed to impress, are we? Can't believe the first order we got was to go into the field in our underpants. Mm. Totally bizarre. They say the order came from Princess Zelda, but they've got to wonder, really? Mm? You know what? I swear I'm not slacking here. I'm on an official break. Okay, you. Same ones. Last time I threw a bomb and... Uh, oh, they all just vanished. Ah. Uh, there you are, partner. Have you seen all the many other paints at this table? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's more. Uh, I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They said the Princess Zelda ordered them all the members of the Zonai survey team here to dress the way. This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way to Garon City. But they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous around here to walk around in just their underpants. They won't listen to me though, they insist they're following Princess Zelda's orders. Hmm. I've also heard that some of these underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. Oh. They went look to look into a monster then up this mountain road and haven't come back yet. Mm. Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? These chirps and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. I just know it. Okay. Let's check with the other guys first. I beat. Oh. Who are you, traveler? You may be wondering about our clothes, or lack thereof. We're just doing what we're told. Prepare your mind and body. And then explore your underpants. Those were the orders handed down to the Zonai survey team. As for why, that I couldn't tell you. Uh. I, it terrified me just leaving this table without clothes or equipment. I can't imagine trying to find monsters uh, this way, like Sango and Drent. Those two went to the monster then just up the road. Mm. I told them to come back at the first sign of danger, but still no sign of them. Oh. Uh, sure, yeah, we're kind of not wearing the usual gear here, but we're just following orders. It's not weird, not weird at all. Still, the girl who works in the stable took uh, took one look at all of us and left. She's far over there and won't come back. <laughs> Doesn't she know where the real deal? Where the Zona survey team? This is all super official. It's not weird. Huh? What do you think? And you guys are all making our research team look like fools. 
Uh, I think you do look weird, so there, chew on that. Uh... You are all wrong. We're following Princess Zelda's orders. Uh... How did this happen? I was the last member of the team to reach this survey location. By then, everyone was dressed like this by order of Princess Zelda. Why would she give such a strange command? Uh... Oh man, the girlfriend's table. There's no way she'll talk to any of us on the team if we're dressed like uh... that. She will surely return if you just dress like regular people. Uh... You're all wrong. From... Yeah, okay. I don't think he was talking about this one. You little doggies. Well, good work finding them. Okay, here now, here now. Uh, you're not walking around in nothing but other shards. Uh, it must be a traveler. Okay, so maybe it was her. Uh, so here, so you're not going to believe this. Uh, there's a group of guys in their skivvies hanging out at Full Hill's table, which is where I work. Just guys in their undershorts, everywhere you look. It's the worst. That's why I'm here looking after the doggies. Uh, I'm here, <laughs> I'm doing some self care, you know, doggies. That's right, these little guys, aren't they the cutest? But they're not just cute, oh no, no, no. They also have this amazing ability. Their incredible sense of smell can lead little to treasure. Mm. I don't think nobody thought us about that in the previous game. But they won't do that just for anybody. You have to show them lots of love first. No befriend them and feed them. But they will repay their love by showing you the most amazing things. Yeah, I'm aware. And after the dog is so relaxing, tell me about them. <laughs> Your bad first thing to know is dogs are the cutest. That's not all, no way. On top of their cuteness, they also have this amazing ability. Their incredible sense of smell can lead us to treasure. But they won't do that just for anybody. I have to befriend them. Okay, I'm gonna be curious if I'm. <laughs> what? Why are you here on the shorts? Your fashion choice needs some work. Get out of here. That just okay. Mm, what about the other one? Come on, you're going elsewhere. I hope they wait for me. Come on, dog. We're getting too far from the others. Bone. Okay, I'm here. the guys for, with Thorin. Alright. In there? Okay, let me see them first. Ah, uh. dumb duck. Ah, damn. Uh, I really thought we found it too. Uh. 
Who knows how long it would take to open all those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. And every single chest we open, we find the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. What's the matter? There's a bunch of chests in there. Oh, Hush up. Hey, buddy. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? Ah. What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came into this cave to find Misko's treasure too? Ah. Person, don't just say that. Shh. Ah. Ah, I mentioned Misko's treasure, didn't I? Star attack. Misko's treasure? Ah. Uh, whatever, no sense trying to hide it now. Misko's the name of an infamous bandit who caused problems all over Hyrule back in the day. Ah, the dog will probably point me to the right one. But I want to open them all if there are plenty. But Misko's legend expands beyond mere banditry. You see, Misko is equally famous for fashion. The stories say that they spent a lifetime collecting clothes. Clothes that are now hidden across Haru. Oh. We suspect that Misko's wardrobe might be in the caves that were exposed during the upheaval. That's why we're here. Ah? Uh, we got here first, so if you're thinking of swooping in and snatching those studs, think again. <laughs> no, there's no way he'll be able to find Miskos treasure in a sea of chests. And there's nothing to worry about, Dak. Ah. Mm, you got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Listen up, you. You got our permission to go into the cave. If seasonal, seasonal adventure, treasure hunters, like... Us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better. <laughs> Nonetheless, you gotta know it was like a dog's in case they found the treasure. Oh. That's it, Nack. Let's give a dog some food and, or something to get it to like us, and then you lead us to the treasure. Ah? I was being sarcastic, prison. Ah. Sorry, Nack. Okay. Miss Ghost gave her chests. Uh, they probably opened this one. No, oh, they're plenty open already. Damn it, it's a bit hard to to know which ones have been opened and which ones haven't. <laughs> Where's the dog calling me? Come on, dog. Oh, I didn't notice that. Hang on, what's here? Bubble frog. That's such a waste of time. Okay, I don't think there are any more buried. Ah, there's this one. Amber trousers. Used in ancient rituals, these items made of heat absorbing cloth that produce flame in high temperature environments. Looks kind of simple. Huh? Oh. Oh, hey, what did you do? What well, you guys didn't? Damn, there was one last chest over there. No way! There are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah. We told you, I admit, but we never thought you'd actually find it. They've been ha hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Finders keepers, we're not going to try to take it from you. Uh. Yeah, no matter how cool it is, so jealous. Any treasure left in here, in there? You know what? I'm gonna look for myself out of the way. 
Hmm, treasure, you mean there? Uh huh. Oh. Oh darn, it's just a regular old bottle. Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, person. Let's go find ourselves an arcade. Ah. You got it, Dak. Hmm. Can I break it? Bottle letter to you who have found my treasure. These amber trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule, notable pieces obtained in strange lanes near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another, the first city surge. Don the form of the first city and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. Oh, so I need to find the suit for... One beneath the bed chamber of a callous red crowned citadel. Okay. One in the skull's left eye. One the left uh left white eye was the one down there. Shouldn't it be the the one I have to climb. One in an old stump in Harrowfield. Okay, that's kind of vague. No. Good luck. The uh, great Ben in Misco. Cool, cool. And then this door will open to get the surge. And what do I do when the surge breaks? I don't have amiibos to get them. Does it just stay here? Hmm, where are you guys going to find another? Huh, so what now? I think I've narrowed down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh. Way to go, Dak. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, what? Huh? Oh, come on. Uh, can't you have one brotherly conversation without you listening? Huh. Yeah. We're not gonna tell you one word about the Benny ben Misko's old manuscripts. Huh. Chris, why? Why would you say that? Ah. I did again, didn't I, Sarandak? Oh. Yeah, it's fine. The treasure's as good as ours, and these guys never work out these riddles. Uh, even if you told him. Hey, buddy. Want me to tell you what the manuscript said? Tell me. Huh. Thing is, I'm not about to uh, give that info up for free. It will run you 100 rupees. I don't think so. If I decline, can you go cheaper? Come on, don't be so stingy. This info's so choice. It'd be a crime to let it go for anything cheaper. Okay, so I'll pay. Ah. Deck, the guy's back. Well. What is it you want me to tell you? Tell me. <laughs> no, no, guys, give for free. Wrong on the rupees. Ah. Pleasure in the business with you. Trust me, that was a steal. If you find the treasure, it'll be worth way more than a measly 100 rupees. There are three manuscripts. Which do you want to hear? Uh, uh, the twins. Oh. All right then. Uh, I discovered green, the green clothes of a man who admired fairies uh, and have hidden them away. So my riddle to find them anew. In West Necluda stand twins poised to duel. Uh, each contains a cavern that faces the other. Show the little twins sign to the big Twin to open the door to my treasure. Okay. Oh. That's what that <laughs> says. But your head is really spinning after all that. An amateur like you probably has no idea <clears throat> where to weave me in. Good thing we've already puzzled everything out, right, Deck? <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to try putting your little rookie brain to the test. But we've got those treasures in the bag. Okay, oh. do I have to pay for each? Well. Uh, oh, do you want me to refresh? Okay, uh, tell me anyone. one. <laughs> Another deal is a hundred percent script. Got a deal? Mm. Part cavern. Oh. Sure thing, listen close. 
I discovered the green clothes of a man who did my affairs. I forgot in Pirate's Cavern lurks at the foot of Cape Chaos. I, I don't know by name that place. Overlooking the Nekluda Sea. Oh. The short, shrill song of wind through lips will open the way to my treasure. Okay, so I have to whistle. That's it. Wow. There has some read of one first old manuscript. You only get one at a time. That's the rule. What? Why I only get one at a time? We already sold both these other ones. We haven't we deck? <laughs> Naturally, there's no riddle that can be solved once it falls into my hands. The one I gave you was pretty easy though. If you think long and hard about it, you might be able to figure it out. <coughs> ah. Well. Okay, the mini one. <laughs> yeah. Ah. This is the last oh. one. Okay, listen up and focus. I discovered a green closet. Statues of the eight herrings reside in the desert. Enter the valley carved into Hamar's descent. Okay. And shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. Uh, the path to the treasure will open before you. Ah. The end. Ah. Not gonna lie, this one's a real doozy of a riddle. It's hard to solve from the manuscript alone. But I'll tell you the answer if you want. Ah. Prison, no. No. It was a joke, Dak. Alright, we're good. Down here. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Oh. I'm here for fashion advice. You look so at ease in your undies. I wish I had half your confidence. Oh. It terrified me just leaving the stable without clothes or equipment. Can you imagine for monsters? Not sure of the rules. Okay. That's yeah, that is pretty common. It kind of fits with everything. Uh. Let's see in, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette. What's news? Uh. Unoboko unearths new purpose. Marble rock that had been affecting the Goros has vanished, and Unoboko, who was responsible for digging it up, has now a commitment to restoring Goros City. I hope that means they'll reopen their gem stores. <laughs> if I remember right, their prices were really, really good. Like half normal price. Mm. There's so much real, other stories. Mm. Signs of new weapon fed. With weapons decaying all over the land, more and more people are embellishing their weapons with ores and other items. Mm. Uh, when the upheaval occurred, uh, some of that strange gloom got on my brand new sword and caused it to decay. Mm. There's some. Uh, okay, I'll leave it be. Mm. I wonder what's going on with those people in their end prints outside. It's really strange, but I don't want to ask what's, what they're doing. Uh, that just seems like it would be incredibly awkward. Oh. Huh? Say, Traveler, excuse my interruption, but you seem interested in that picture. Uh, it is an unusual sign, isn't it? Mm. That is, in fact, a picture of the tracks of uh, the rumor beast. Ah, oh, yeah, there were some guys talking about that. 
the theory was. Uh, rumors about the creature just keep traveling from stable to stable and from person to person. You might well find someone at any stable spreading these rumors. I've even done a little searching around the Elden region. I was hoping I'd be the one to discover what this beast is, but I didn't find anything. It must not be around here. The idea of anything unknown or that's yet to be identified makes me excited. Like new species. And it's like they're looking for the Bigfoot. No. Oh, yeah, just give me the points for finding you. Welcome to Foot Hill. Thank you for supporting the system station. One point. Oh, okay, stable. No, I don't want anything. Think about it, Link. I hear that things as Zora's domain aren't so good right now. Where is some goopy stuff called sludge is falling out of the sky? Zora's domain is to the southeast of here and a bit out of the way. Still, I can't help but worry this sludge will start falling from the sky here too. Is spot maximum bone? Okay, so let's take him to go. go. Oh, I didn't even see you here. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Energizing, I think I can ah. I'm never gonna oh. use those. <laughs> Death Mountain Marker 1, Climbing Path Trailhead. <laughs> hmm. Okay, where is your friend? Is will this sink over there? Yeah, I can't just go through here. Come on, it has wheels. Go. This isn't deep enough, or if this actually floats. Because I'm pretty sure that every sort of Sona device floats in water. But I didn't really test it them all. Oh. I thought it would be to their side. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, it floats. Come on. Is the cor was the cork making more buoyant? Yeah, I think it was.
Wait, wait, wait. I spoke to you. Sabota. Hey. Taratera. Sabota. The recent increase in monsters has made a mess of the Death Mountain path ahead. And the worst monsters of all are those grasping reddish black ones that crawl along the ground. Mm -hmm. One touch from them and you feel your life draining away. I recommend you give them a white berth. Uh, be careful out there. She talking about uh, gloom. Ah, there they are. Here we go. Rizalda has given us the order. So here we go, Sango. It won't be scary if we both go together all at once on the count of three. One, two, three. Uh, Sango, why didn't you go? You didn't move either, Drent. What's going on? Ah. Hmm. What? Oh, it's you. Uh, I thought it was a monster. Mm. We're trying to conduct research on monsters holed up in this cave. But look at us. We hardly gear up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to going there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Alta sent, us, sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team. And it's this, word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and explore in underpaint. I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way, but we're re we are really only members of the survey team. Uh. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but without any. Mm. Uh, if only someone could do this, show us how it's done. Well, then we could tr try and do it without gear too. I'll try it. Oh. You serious? You need to go in wearing as little as you are. we are. Uh, you sure about this? That's fine. Mm. Now then, I'll hold on to your other clothes and any equipment you may have. Any equipment? Oh. Any weapon? I don't have bombs now. What? How do I deal with enemies? Ah. Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. Mm. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We are just not confident in the whole physical side of this. Uh, but are they supposed to study monsters only? If they are supposed to only study monsters, they can just look from afar. But if they are going to attack monsters, then obviously they will need some kind of weapon. Yeah, but they can't fuse stuff. Roasted sunshroom. It's always a good idea to keep a fully roasted sunshroom or two on hand just in case. It is to recover a bit of health. Why the hell am I here?
Wow, you survived. I actually beat them. Huh? Weren't you guys looking? What? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants? Weren't you guys supposed to learn by watching me? I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please join us back at Fuji's table. Ah. Thank you. Okay then, I'll return the gear that I was holding for you. Mm. We'll head back to Fuji's table and wait for you there. Uh, uh, yeah, everything I got there vanished. That was. I should probably have entered now. I can wear clothes. Can I wear clothes soon? What's so oh. that? Oh, great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service, defeating the monsters in just his other pants. Oh. Incredible, please tell us how this is actually done. Oh. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what's all this with wearing all other pants? Oh, sorry, I guess you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team yet. She said we had to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in other paints. Uh... Now, I got the order too. That's why I'm all the way here doing research. But what Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare uh, your mind and body and... And then explore all other paths. Now, what you guys thought? <gasps> what was that? Then all this time we spent doing our survey research in our underpants was a total waste of time. Hmm. Well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say to strain our mind and body, and to go outside and push ourselves to excel like never before. Is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods as researchers have been truly tested. Ah. Come on, let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever. So I... The quest would actually mm. solve itself uh, realistically if I didn't need to get involved. Uh, I see, so the chips and warbles that started us of here really paid off in the end. What a story. The team here botched the listening part and went overboard with do the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure, Princess Zelda really is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. And I think this one also was from before she vanished then. Hmm. We've worked together to chase six of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Hmm. You really got in the hang of things, you could probably get a full-time job at the paper if you wanted to. Go on and this your next hang, partner. With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to write itself after all so long. The princess. Hey, so everybody's dressed now. Hey, travelers, we go over the field here. Same where, where I work, there was this group of guys hanging out in their under shorts. No joke. Good news is, they are all gone now. I'm sure someone gave them a good talking to and chased them off. 
I really gotta thank whoever that someone is. Anyway, thank goodness I can look after the doggies without getting an eye open. Bye. <laughs> so I missed paint. <laughs> Uh, hey, it's you. The reason we can wear clothes again? Not really. Uh, word has it that lots of ruins fell out of the sky over Terrytown to the east. Oh, I hope it isn't too messed up. We hope bring the place up after all. Can't wait to go there and immerse myself in research. You left mm. me. Where were you? You disappeared on me so suddenly. I was worried sick. Ah? What about you? Pay more attention. I fell down well. It was awful. Ah, that that's the guy I rescued. I would have spent the rest of my life down there if a passing traveler hadn't rescued me. Uh, hold on, aren't you? Ah! Yes, you're the guy from before. Thank you for saving me. Oh. Ah, that is you, isn't it? You have me with the... Ah, uh, the underpants thing. Wait, you have Dilly here too? Uh? Underpants thing? What? <laughs> Yikes, I've got a dumb store for you. <laughs> uh, that is ridiculous. One more time, so I can enjoy every stupid detail. She came over here. <laughs> oh, it's still Traveler. Thanks to you, we could all dress normally again. Then that girl from the stable came over to talk to some of us on their survey team. She knows a lot about dogs. Ah. There aren't many girls right around my age in Luring Village. So yeah, I gotta say it was great to talk. Uh, dog talk, huh? Ah. The girl at the stable says she likes dogs, so I started learning about them. Turns out that when dogs get close with a person, they'll find treasure for them. What's that? How do you get close to a dog? Well, love and loyalty, of course. Mm. When I return to Learn Village, I think I, I'll try to raise a dog too. Learn Village? Oh. That's right. Okay, I come from far, far, far to the southeast from here. Uh, it's on the sea. Everyone there makes a living by fishing. I can't swim. Ah, he's the guy that was walking around the. I don't remember his face. But there was a guy right outside Learn Village that sold things along the road just don't have the neck for it so i didn't bother with all that fisherman stuff ah. being on this zone I survey team is the life for me so i volunteered for action in actions what i got but i have to say i heard the pirates have taken over my village that worries me i'm not sure if i can ever go back hang on let me just check one thing here i don't remember the order i got the horses, but I'm pretty sure Indigo Go was one of the first ones I got, and I know Epona was the last one because she was the only amiibo I used in Breath of the Wild. So maybe this is just a default order for no, but this one I think would kind of be considered like Indigo Go. Mm, this isn't alphabetically either. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Was it the order? <laughs> 